In the heart of 11th century Europe, nestled within a thick, impenetrable forest, there lay a small, tranquil town named Blackthorn. The townsfolk lived peacefully, unaware of the horrors that lurked in the shadows, waiting for the moon to rise and unleash its terrifying transformation. It was a moonless night when the ominous presence first descended upon Blackthorn. A thick, oppressive darkness enveloped the town, as an eerie silence settled in. The villagers, sensing an impending doom, huddled within their homes, clutching crosses and praying for salvation. As the clock struck midnight, a deafening, grotesque buzzing shattered the silence. The earth seemed to tremble as the source of the cacophony emerged from the woods. With leathery wings that spanned the width of a house and bulging compound eyes, the monstrosity that descended upon Blackthorn was unlike anything they had ever seen. This abomination, a creature from the darkest corners of folklore, was a giant fly, taller than the tallest man in the town. Its body was a grotesque fusion of insected limbs and human anatomy, twisted into a sickening parody of a werewolf's transformation. It exhaled a sickly, acrid stench that struck terror into the hearts of those who dared to gaze upon it. The fly monster's transformation was a horrifying sight to behold. It seemed to contort and shift, its human-like limbs becoming more insectal, while its head elongated into a grotesque proboscis, dripping with venomous goo. Its once human eyes became multifaceted, and its skin turned into a chitinous exoskeleton, glistening eerily in the moonlight. This metamorphosis was an unholy fusion of man and fly, an eldritch horror beyond comprehension. With a sinister cackle, the creature began its reign of terror. It roamed through the town, its monstrous form casting a shadow over everything in its path. The military, armed with swords and bows, rallied to defend their homes, but their weapons were feeble against the monstrosity. The creature's strength was unmatched, and it made quick work of the valiant soldiers, leaving their lifeless bodies strewn throughout the cobblestone streets. Worse yet, the fly monster bore an insidious purpose. For every slain enemy, it would pause, its abdomen swelling grotesquely as it laid eggs within the fallen. The eggs would be hidden within the bodies, waiting to hatch and bring forth a new generation of abominations to terrorize the land. As the night wore on, the once peaceful town of Blackthorn descended into chaos and despair. The fly monster's buzzing filled the air with a haunting symphony of horror, and the townsfolk had no choice but to flee for their lives. Abandoning their homes, they scattered in all directions, seeking refuge in neighboring towns, leaving behind a nightmarish landscape of death and destruction. In the days that followed, Blackthorn would forever be known as the Cursed Town, a place where the monstrous fly had come to sow its seed of terror and death. The legend of the giant fly monster would be told for generations, a tale of unspeakable horror that would haunt the collective memory of Europe for centuries to come.